The official opening day of Major League Baseball is upon us, and I couldn't be more excited about having a big and profitable MLB season. Let's keep the good times rolling on Thursday with five best bet winners. Let's roll. What's up, sports fans? My name is Chris, and you are now rocking with the 5 Tool Podcast. We are a daily baseball betting show that touches on just about everything you want to know about Major League Baseball from a betting perspective. Today's Wednesday, March 27th, and in today's video, we're going to be previewing opening day in the MLB for Thursday, March 28th. And we're going to be dropping five best bet winners that we believe have the best opportunity to turn us a profit here on a Thursday night. Now, before we get into the plays, though, if you haven't already smashed the like button, please go ahead and do so now. If you guys are new around here, please hit the subscribe button. I do not want you to miss out on any free content we got moving forward. We're going to be dropping MLB pick videos Monday through Friday all season long. Now, for those of you watching for the first time, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for tuning in. We run this show a little bit differently than most MLB betting shows. Each episode this year, we're going to be offering five total selections. We're going to be offering a first inning prop. We're going to be offering a side selection, a total selection, and a wild card prop that could be anything that's widely available to be wagered on, such as pitcher strike or props total bases, team totals, anything of that nature. New to the 5 Tool Podcast this year, we're going to do a season-long home run pick. And this pick is going to be for 0.1 units of your bankroll. So it's going to be a very low-risk, high-reward type play. It's new. All these bets will be tracked in the Google Doc sheet that's linked in the description. And give it a click if you want to follow along with the day-to-day record. Now, without further ado, here's today's five best bets. First play we are rolling with is the Cleveland Guardians on the money line, minus 160 over the Oakland Athletics. Look, this is our first side selection of the season, and while the juice may seem a little bit high at minus 160, I do not see a world where the Cleveland Guardians go into Oakland and lose this opening game of the MLB season. The Guardians are a team I'm very high on this year, and I expect some positive regression in the batter's box, which means they are going to be a good team and contend for the division title. In this particular matchup against Oakland starter Alex Wood, I expect the Cleveland batters to get to him early and often in this contest. Alex Wood is a pitcher that's not going to blow you away. He doesn't go deep into ball games, And with a shaky bullpen in the Oakland Athletics corner, I do expect Cleveland to get plenty of runs in this contest. Offensively for the A's, I do not see where the runs are going to come from. They're going up against a uh, potential Cy Young candidate in Shane Bieber. He's finally healthy, and I believe he's going to get off to a rock-solid start. Give me the Cleveland Guardians here on the money line at minus 160. The second play we have for you is our totals play. We're taking the over 8.5 runs in the St. Louis Cardinals Los Angeles Dodgers contest. The odds are minus 120. I believe all season long there's going to be a common theme with the Los Angeles Dodgers. They're going to they're going to win plenty of ball games and they're likely going to go over plenty of numbers considering how deep their lineup is. They're 1-1 one one to the over-under uh, in the first two games against the San Diego Padres, but they did put up plenty of runs, plenty of hits, drew plenty of walks, and going up against Miles Miklas in this contest, I expect them to hit him early and often. Miklas is coming off a tough spring training, and I know you know there's not a lot of uh, you know merit to the spring training, but he was hit hard against lesser opposition and lesser batting lineups, and then you got this Dodgers team that is stacked from top to bottom. I do not see him lasting long in this contest without giving up plenty of runs. On the other side of the coin for the Dodgers pitching, you have Tyler Glasnow. While he has a start under his belt, he did give up four walks in that contest. His mechanics were out of whack. And with the Cardinals team that is desperate to get off to a winning start, they had a terrible season last year. They're desperate to get uh, you know, get off on the right foot in this contest. With a solid lineup, I expect them to hit Glasnow well and put up a few runs to help cash the over ticket. Give me the over 8.5 runs here at odds of minus 120. The third play we have for you is our first inning prop bet. And for it, we are taking the no-run first inning in the Los Angeles Angels. Baltimore Orioles contest, the odds are minus 115. Look, this game just screams low scoring contest. The total is seven and a half. There's going to be shitty weather all game long, wind blowing in from right field. And with two capable pitchers on the bump in Patrick Sandoval and Corbin Burns, who's making his Orioles debut, I expect the pitchers to get out of the first inning unscathed. This is a great price here with shitty weather and two good pitchers at no run first inning, minus 115. What we have for you is our wild card selection of Fort. We are taking Nathan Avaldi of the Texas Rangers. Over one and a half walks at odds of minus 140. Look, Nathan Avaldi, he pitched above expectations last year, no doubt. He led the Texas Rangers to their World Series championship. But this year, he's due for some regression. He walked five batters over the last two spring training games. And as usual, you know, spring training, we can't take it with a grain of salt. But those mechanics can definitely carry over into the opening game against a good Chicago Cub lineup. The Cubs, they should stay patient at the plate. Avaldi, he's coming off a season where he gave up 47 walks, the second most in his career. And I do believe he's in line for a couple of walks here in this contest. Give me Evaldi over one and a half walks. Odds of minus 140. And the final play we have for you is our new home run prop bet. We are taking this bet specifically for low risk, high reward. We're betting this for 0.1 units. So bet according to your bankroll. The first player we are taking for the daily home run prop is Spencer Steer of the Cincinnati Reds. 
for plus 525 at Bet365. These handicaps are going to be short, sweet, and right to the point. Steer has homered in his last three spring training games. Josiah Gray is prone to the long ball, and with the wind blowing out to left center field, we expect this right-handed batter to be aided by the wind and crush one here on opening day. Give me Spencer Steer to hit a home run, plus 525. That wraps up today's episode of the 5 Tool Podcast. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to help support the videos, please smash the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, or leave a comment in the comment section if you guys are tailing or fading any of these bets tonight. Until next time, 